pitch began, where it's come today, and the entire story of it in 18 minutes or less, okay? Many years ago, if you look at my website, we were getting ready to go camping. We had the boat on there, jet skis, and my kids said, does this campground have a basketball hoop? And I said, I don't know, but we got all these toys. Who needs a basketball hoop? And they were more excited that the campground had a hoop than having a boat and jet ski and all that stuff. So I said, I might as well unhook all of this, these toys, the boat and the jet skis and all this, and put a hoop on the hitch. And they said, could you do that? And it gave me an idea to do it. And that was about 14 years ago. Okay. Since then, I've been very trusting of a lot of different people. And I've thought, well, I'm not the type of person to sue or anything, but I'm going to tell you the story and see what you think. Okay, that's how it began. About seven or eight years ago, I took the hoop hitch to something called the World of Sporting Innovation in Las Vegas at the convention center. I had acquired a patent at that time and figured I was pretty well protected. The SGMA puts on this show. It's called the Sporting Good Manufacturers Association. They put on this show... And it's for new ideas and new inventions in sporting. That's why it's called the World of Sporting Innovation. So I took it there, showed it at the Las Vegas Convention Center, had some good exposure. Now, one good thing that did come out of that is I won tickets to the NBA All-Star Game, the 04 All-Star Game in Los Angeles. It was then that I realized that the NBA has too much money, okay? We went down there to the All-Star game. They paid, they had like seven different parties. They had way too much money. They had the streets blocked off. They, you know, basically, uh, it, just the amount of security they had. They had the entire Interstate 5 blocked off so the NBA buses could go down that. And I thought, wow, this association has too much money. And that's one of the reasons I have a little bit of a problem with the NBA. I'll share the other ones in just a second. Okay, We used to take the students down to something called Pro Sports Career Day over in Seattle at the Seattle uh, at Key Arena where the Sonics used to play before they were sold to Oklahoma City. Now, when we went over there, I always handed out my cards for my hoop pitch and everything, and like I said, I thought I was protected, so I didn't worry too much about it. Okay, After the Sonics moved to Oklahoma City, we started going to Portland because the Portland Trailblazers were there. Portland's always done a good job giving us good, uh, basically they give us some exposure and they let the kids do job shadowing and different things. It's a great experience, okay? And also while we were there, I had looked into who their ad agency was and who the ad agency for the NBA was, and I knew they were located in Portland. It is Wyden Kennedy, okay? Dan Wyden is the guy that started the Nike ad campaign, just do it, okay? He got that idea, he's from Portland. He got the idea because there was an execution being ready to take in place, and the headlines of the paper were, just do it. This guy who was gonna be executed wanted it over with, and he said, just do it. He coined that term, he didn't really invent it, he just put it out there in the media. Just do it kind of brought him fame, yada, 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 okay? Uh, I met with Wyden Kennedy multiple times about my basketball hoop and the hoop hitch and doing an ad campaign for the NBA, ESPN, called NBA Mobile, ESPN Mobile for your mobile phone. I said my hoop hitch, I would be willing to just cross-promote it, where they give me some promotion on the hoop hitch. I, I give them some promotion on my backboards. Uh, they said their exact terms were, it's not a good fit. And I said, ESPN Mobile, it's a perfect fit. This is a mobile basketball hoop. Uh, it can also be used for other sports like pickleball, tennis, and everything. Three and a half years later, they come out with an RV, which I'll show you a picture of. Coincidentally, it looks a lot like my RV. Okay? I've taken this around to different games and shows and everything. Uh, when I contacted Wyden Kennedy about that, I said, this was my idea. Now you're using it for the ESPN and... The NBA and taking it to all these NBA games, it's called Your NBA Destination, ESPN. I don't think those companies themselves, the ESPN NBA, really did anything wrong. But the ad agency 
When I asked them about it, they said, we did not make that basketball hoop on the back of the NBA tour bus. A company in Chicago, Illinois made it called Sports Revolution Marketing. When I contacted them and I said, I have a patent for this, you can't have that, I'm going to get, have to give you a cease and desist order. They said, we just did what Wyden Kennedy, the ad agency, told us to do. They told us to make this hoop on the back, da 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 da. And uh, I said, well, I have a patent on it. Every attorney I have talked to says, good luck fighting the ESPN, NBA, Wyden Kennedy. So I thought, I'm not going to fight him unless a patent attorney out there who specializes in intellectual property <laughs> is willing to take it on a commission only basis, which means he will only collect money if we win in court. Otherwise, I will have nothing uh, to do with it. I will not put one dime into it. So that's kind of the long and the short of it. Now, I've always said I can't take these companies on, but since the NBA lockout happened, it has affected us here even in little town Clarkston. Number one, we've moved our DECA trips from, Portland, from Seattle to Portland so we can see the Blazers games. This year, we were unable to take the kids to a Blazers game. We almost had to cancel the entire trip because the NBA is on lockout. They are a multi-million dollar company, and we lost out here. Also, my biggest clientele have been NBA teams. Uh, I just finished making a hoop for the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm in the middle of making one for Orlando Magic, which is halfway done. I have a lot of money into it and haven't got a check yet. So this has affected us even in little town Clarkston here. Okay. I went on Facebook and saw, is anyone boycotting the NBA? In my eyes, I'd be perfectly content going with the NCAA. Just watch Gonzaga basketball, watch college ball. Uh, you know, there's not as much corruption in that. So, this is my hoop pitch. The one you'll see looks a little different on the ESPN vehicle. And I just had it up here a second ago. Uh, let's see if I can find it again. Well, we got to make it a little bit bigger. Copy. I think it looks pretty similar, okay? When I talked to them, they said they changed it a little bit. So I had the RV on mine now where it doesn't say ESPN. It says ESPM. And instead of the NBA, it says the MBA, the Mobile Basketball Association. We'll take the game to you. So that's my story. Cut. <laughs>